Hey everyone, I'm back and this is a video that I wanted to make already and I was going to postpone it but I just saw a comment on one of my videos from a guy and he said something like you talk about natural things on your channel but you still wear makeup to cover up your naturalism so that being said personally I've never felt the need to fit into any sort of box never felt the need to suit any certain ideals. I just always felt the need to express myself the way that I feel necessary and just be me. I love makeup and I love hair. I love activism and speaking up for what I believe in. So yeah, that's that's me. Not too long ago I saw like a meme on Instagram or on Tumblr and it was a photo of Erica Badu and Lauren Hill on one side and then on the other side is Beyonce and Nicki Minaj and it's like A or B, who's better? It got like such a response for, of like, um, oh, Erica Badu and Lauren Hill, you know, those are queens. Beyonce and Nicki Minaj, they degrade themselves and this, that, the third. And I'm like, um, I just, I don't believe that it's up to anybody to decide how much respect someone deserves. Everyone re deserves respect regardless of what they decide to do with themselves. And if you want to take that route, then um, let's take a look. Um, Nicki Minaj, she was with her boyfriend Safari for the past 15 years. Beyonce, she's been with Jay-Z for the past 15 years, right? She has one child by Jay-Z, her husband. Um, Erica Badu has three children with three different rapper baby fathers. And Lauren Hill, I don't know how many kids she has and if they're all by her ex-husband, Rohan Marley, but it was rumored, according to Wyclef, that Lauren lied to him and said that her, one of her babies was by him to trap him i mean speculation but my point is that because someone decides to express themselves differently than someone else it doesn't make their respectability you know more deserving than the other i think that is perfectly okay to listen to beyonce and Nicki minaj as well as Lauren Hill and Erica Badu and that's exactly what I do and I love all four of their music a lot <laughs> and I don't feel any kind of ashamed or wrong or hip I don't see any hypocrisy in my feeling that way so back to the first comment that I mentioned earlier in the, in the, in the video my makeup is like an accessory I wash it off and go to bed bare face and I I'm actually wearing makeup maybe once or twice a week I don't go to work with makeup on maybe I draw my eyebrows maybe if I'm wearing contacts but if I'm wearing my glasses I don't I don't put on my I don't draw my eyebrows on because you can't really see it because I have these big lenses um this is like for the glamour of YouTube and the glamour and that's what I like to like be glamorous sometimes and no, not all of my makeup is 100% organic. That's really difficult these days, but you know, they're working on it. I've, I've noticed more brands are developing, so that's awesome. But um, I change my hair color. I, change, I do wear makeup sometimes. Does that make me any less natural than anybody else? Does that make me any less deserving of respect than anybody else? Like, is the girl who doesn't wear deodorant and doesn't comb her hair and just has freeform locks and no makeup and doesn't shave her legs does is she more deserving of realness and respect <laughs> than i am because i color my hair and i manipulate my locks and i wear makeup and i made a, a video about skin bleaching not too long ago about how i want people to really reevaluate why they want to change their skin tones whether that be you know other races wanting to tan the skin to to be browner and black people and like a lot of other minorities wanting to bleach the skin to look whiter or lighter the point of that video was to really 
reevaluate where these beauty ideals are coming from and why you feel the need to change your natural skin color and I made that video and people were accusing me of bleaching my skin I looked at your older videos and you were way darker um well my older video that's when I was in college and I didn't have a job and I didn't have money for a ring light so maybe that's why I look lighter now <laughs> at the times that I did have a job I was working door to door canvassing in the sun all summer long so maybe that's why you know people tend to forget that black people tan as well and especially when you're like brown skin medium colored it can look so extreme like in the winter and in the summer you would never really know how you really look but anyway that being said for instance one woman here on youtube i'm not gonna say her name but she used to make lock videos and she's also make videos about you know empower empowering black people and then she got herself in a position where she was struggling and couldn't afford to pay her rent and then she did a porn and then she was attacked so so hard that she deleted her youtube channel and i think that that's so messed up that like the judgment led to her taking down her outlet it is it's kind of messed up how people you know place us in these boxes and have these expectations of us and um ultimately judge you for certain decisions that you make because of their expectations of you thanks for watching make sure you check out my website www.keishacharmaine.com check out my store for accessories lovelightlocks.storyv.com follow me on instagram at killa does that subscribe to me here on youtube leave me a comment below like this video share it if you feel me share it if you don't feel me it's cool and if you want a tutorial on this for makeup stay tuned because it's coming no i'm not hiding my natural beauty i am simply accentuating it <laughs> you can